Is anyone alive? <laughs> Welcome. If you're watching later, read comments and the, this, oh, wait, wait, sorry, I'm very stuttery lately. Um, this time I really am going to like read every single comment. Lately I've been kind of slacking on reading comments. But this time I will. Okay, you just need to cooperate, sir. Okay, we're going to have to just hike up. Ah! Hold on, give me one second. How did that happen? Why won't that work? What do I do? Paul, I can't work the tripod you gave me. Figure it out. Okay. Maybe this will work. so close too. Okay, well, no one wants to see that. Okay. Um, oh, I see. I get it. Hold on. Ah, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Must be smarter than the tripod, I know, right? It's impossible. Good heavens, would you cooperate? Hold on, sorry. I didn't think this would be... I didn't think this would be that hard. Hang on. Give me one second. Sorry. This should work, I think. Okay. 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 That's a little better, I think. Okay, yeah, that works. Hi guys. We just got back from shopping. Um, I'm gonna post my entire Insta story as a video right after this tonight. So why is it so am I just closer than normal or? happening here um yeah I'm gonna post the story because it is crazy crazy um and it feels like in the past like 48 hours it's been getting worse it feels like in the past like 12 hours it's been getting out of control and I'm just like a little freaked out but I'm trying not to be because I tend to be a pretty paranoid person sometimes and so I've been trying this entire time to not freak out and to like joke about it if it's because really joke about joke about it when I'm actually worried and stuff like that. But I think there's definitely definitely cause to be worried. I don't think. Um, okay, sorry, I'm trying to flip through comments. I don't think that it's um, as as crazy as everyone is treating it. I really don't. I think people are super duper overreacting and we should re react to it for sure. But like, I don't know, I don't know. And Paul, are you here? Can I tell them your theory? <laughs> that you just told Danny. Paul got toilet paper, but he had to go to the store at I think 2.30 in the morning to get it. That's insanity. Yeah, schools are shutting down. Um, oh, a lot of you have been messaging me about the conference. I'm not sure yet, but it's not looking good that we'll keep it uh, going. We'll see if this passes in a few weeks, then I'm sure we'll still do it. But if not, uh, we got to be safe because I've got a really low immune system. And like I, I literally went out to the store tonight and I just came home and a fever just hit me. And I shook my temperature and I have a little fever. And I can like feel it hitting me and I don't think it's coronavirus, but like I feel sick, like a cold or something coming on or something. I don't know. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Trish. I saw a psychologist and she told me to try and stay away from the news, etc. It is stressing me to the point that my health is affected and my seizures are worse. I'm so sorry. I feel like that's kind of like starting to happen to me too and I don't want that to happen. No, I'm not saying I have coronavirus, I'm just saying that my immune system is so bad that it almost, uh, I'll just go to the store and come home sick. Like it happens to me all the time. That's what I'm talking, I'm not saying I have the coronavirus. I'm trying to explain why my immune system is 
bad, bad, so that's why I was telling you I'll go to the store and come home, and I feel sick. I'm nothing to the crowd wires, just, do you know what I mean? Um, oh, okay, Hannah. <laughs> I don't want to come off as dramatic. I'm just saying, I'm trying to say that I have a bad immune system. For example, I went out, got sick tonight, and that happens all the time. Um, let's see. Five days flex. How's everyone else feeling about it? I was like so, I was making fun of it every day, and I'm still making fun of some of it. Like. If, if you don't have Instagram, if you don't follow me, I'm gonna post my entire story right after this as a video, and you'll see. Like, we just, we had some fun at the store together. Um, just kind of like joking about it and trying to lighten the mood of the store and like, um, cause everyone seriously was in a mood of like panic. Like, it literally was like World War Z, which is like our favorite movie, mine and Danny's. If you've ever seen that, the scene where they go to the grocery store to get stuff and people are like shooting each other and murdering each other over a can of food and like even the police officers come in and you think they're there to help you but no, nope, they're just getting baby food for their child and like that that's what it felt like. Obviously it wasn't that bad but that's what it felt like. That would, would, that's what it reminded me of. I was like, wait, is this for real? Is something really happening? I don't know. Cause like I didn't get to go out last night. I was gonna try, but I didn't. And tonight, I haven't been out in a in a little bit. So, for so it was actually really scary for me to witness it in person, to be honest. But that's okay. Um, I need to eat something. Yeah, Joe, I'm freaking out about the coronavirus because I work at Walmart around some people, and around some people that that has been affected by the coronavirus and I was afraid to go there um and I, I can't read today I'm sorry and I was afraid to go out there stocking shelves oh yeah <gasps> that would be scary not like mob mentality can be really scary oh that's not good oh, I'm sorry Oh, really, Sarah? Hmm, we'll see. A lot of stuff I'm supposed to do soon, too, that probably gonna get canceled. Yeah, and don't take my word. I don't know for sure. Ashley hasn't told me for sure about the conference, but um, I can't imagine that we'll go forward with it at this point. So we'll have probably have to reschedule. So for those of you who already have your tickets or who are looking to buy, I would wait a minute. Obviously you'll get refunded if you already bought your tickets, but if you're waiting um, to buy them, I would wait a little bit because we're not sure yet. Because it's still a month away. Where are we? April 24th. It's over a month away. So um, we'll see. Who knows? We'll see. I just hope it doesn't get any work worse. I really do. Yeah, me too. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Right, Pi Ducky. I'm not afraid of the virus either, but I'm afraid of there being a food shortage and delays on food restocks. Yeah. So like, for instance, we went to Walmart to get like stuff that would last. So like frozen foods and, um, and stuff that, you know, box food, stuff that would last. And it's incredible. It was all wiped out. The only thing that wasn't wiped out was the fruits and vegetables section. That says a lot about our country. <laughs> We're so healthy here. <laughs> um, like everything was gone in the bread. That's the thing that boggled my mind most. You'll see it on my story, but like the bread, every piece of bread was gone. And I'm like, guys, Bread goes bad in like a couple days, depending on if it's fresh or if it's bagged, it, it goes bad in like a week. Like, why are you stocking up on so much bread? And so uh, I just was like, it made me mad. Cause I was like, are you kidding? Like, 
calm the freak down. It's just bread and you can make bread. Why aren't you buying flour and stuff if you're that worried about not having bread for two weeks? Like calm your titalonies and get what you need for two weeks and stop taking more than that. If everyone would just go to the store and only get what they need for two weeks, then everybody could get what they need. Shani for president. Do people still do that? Probably not. I'm really old. Yeah, my mom freezes her bread. Yeah, my mom has in the past too. So I can, I understand. I don't like that. I hate freezing bread. I've tried it. It's gross. I guess in an emergency though. Hmm. I guess I can see that now. Good point. But still, bleh. <sighs> this virus has people off the wall. It's so crazy. And okay, so I live in Utah. And especially where I live in my county, Utah County, um, people are always really nice. Like we're the nicest people. We're always smiling at each other and saying hi and all that stuff. But at the store today, and I'm guilty of this too, we were literally like just focused on what we got to get and like nobody cares about anybody else. And like we didn't hurt anybody or anything, but it was like, hey, are you going to grab that last thing of water or can I do it? Like that type of feeling was at the store and it was so bizarre to feel that because I've never felt that type of thing here in Utah. Um, some people freeze their own poo. Is that true? You are so weird. What is your name, WM? You keep coming back. You're so funny. Sometimes. And sometimes you're really disrespectful. But you should just, like, come here and be awesome. Google it. Why would they freeze their poop? What do they do with it? Feed the dogs? Why would anyone freeze poop? I don't understand. I feel like you're trolling me again. It was like Black Friday. Yeah, except worse. It was even worse than Black Friday. As far as like supplies go, I guess. I don't know. To use the sex toys? Oh, are you serious? Ugh. So do they just like poop into a condom or something and then freeze it? Ugh. That's so gross. Ugh. <laughs> That feels dangerous. And okay, TMI again, guys, we're opening up this conversation. Um, <laughs> this is so weird. I don't know why I feel this way, but I feel like, I feel like it would soften pretty fast. <laughs> I don't know how I know this, but I have some sort of feeling that even if you froze it and you took it out, it would soften kind of fast, kind of like ice cream or something. So what would be the point? Like it would be like putting popsicle or like an ice cream bar or that's not even the consistency. How, where am I getting this from? Like if you were to freeze, like, like frosting, have you ever frozen frosting or like even put it in the fridge and it gets kind of hard? That's what I imagine the consistency would turn into. Yeah, I know way too much about this. Guys, I freeze my poop all the time and then I put it on my vagina. I can't have people do that. Ew. Ugh. Right. Right, April? She said, <laughs> why, do you, why do that? You could use literally anything else. You could use anything and put a condom on it. Seriously. Jeez. You could use a banana. You could use your curling iron. You could use, I'm sure the penises. You could use penises, guys. Just get a penis. Oh, I don't know, WM, who on earth started that? I wonder, are you gonna tell me your name? I need to know your name. Um, anyway, so. Am I scared, are you asking me? If I'm scared, I am scared. I may, okay. Well, I'm not gonna speak to me further until you tell me your name, or at least, Tell me something I can call you because WM is a mouthful. I don't have time to, to take that extra split second to say WM. So do you want me to call you M or W?
in good time. I actually feel like you already know me. <sighs> I feel like you've known me in the past. And this is a fake account. That's my God. Am I, oh, am I scared about the coronavirus? Okay, so I totally, really, I started getting a little bit scared last night. Before that, I was completely skeptical and I thought it was ridiculous. I still think some things are ridiculous, but the actual disease itself, it's not ridiculous. This is a serious thing that's happening. So, um, but then today I went out to the store and that's, that's where I was like, oh boy, that, that's when it hit me that like, I'm not necessarily afraid of the virus. I am afraid of it, but like, I'm more afraid of, like someone was saying before, we're more afraid of just not being able to get supplies that we need, which sucks. Um, Learn, WM. Learn, or else you're gonna get blocked and you're gonna get deleted. Thanks, Anna. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh, even if we do contract it, like contract, 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 contract. Yeah, yeah. Be good. You can stick around. Just be good. Come on. Anyway, um, you. A lot of people can contract the virus, but that doesn't mean you're gonna die. Die. It's mostly people who have terrible immune systems or s some sort of like really awful, awful health issue already or the elderly that are dying. Like those are the people that are dying. So yeah, we probably will, I, I have a feeling this will keep spreading and I have a feeling a lot of people will get sick. Um, but I don't think that it will kill as many people as people are making it out to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, people in bad health. And so that's why I have to be careful. <laughs> so yes, I'm scared for that reason because I have a lot of health problems and I have a really bad immune system. And so that's what I am worried about, I guess. But if it was, if I didn't have those things, I wouldn't be as worried, I guess. I just would hope that the world would be a kind place and try and share the love, you know? So. Um, oh no, a cancer doctor in Ontario was diagnosed after he was treating patients. Oh no, that sucks. Oh, you know, I feel so, oh, I have a fever crap. Um, bye WM. I'm just being paranoid. Huh. How many of you just yawned? Maybe I'm just being paranoid. I probably am. Hold on. I gotta get some. We should make up a common karaoke with for about the coronavirus. Wonder Man. Oh, that's your name is Wonder Man. Okay. That's 
it's not your name, but I'll call you that. Yeah, if you're underweight, that's a big worry too. Look at your guys, just everybody assess and be careful. That's the that's the main thing we do. Oh, I was gonna read this. My brother-in-law is a doctor, and um, I asked him what he thought of it. Hold on, and I will tell you what he said because it was very helpful. If I can figure out how to find it. Wow. Okay, there it is. Okay, he says I think it is it is being blown widely out of proportion on Facebook and in the media. People are going into pure panic mode. For me, it's honestly just kind of business as usual, but that's because he lives at the hospital, basically. Um, business as usual, where's my spot? Add it to the list of crazy, scary things that could kill you, but probably won't. That list grows long, that list grows the longer I practice medicine. Um, I do think it is our responsibility to protect the elderly, um, immuno, immunocompromised and frail which is the real reason for all the cancellations and quarantines, etc. Not because if you get the virus, it will kill you. Even in the worst circumstance, a frail, sick, 80-plus-year-old, you have an 86% chance of surviving based on uh, the latest numbers if you end up getting infected. Uh, pretty good odds in medicine. And in reality, we are all blessed enough that we probably all have enough food, da 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 um, that's lying around our pantries and I think we could live quite comfortably for several weeks without going in, without going to the grocery store. Yes, even if we have to fashion a homemade bidet for a few weeks. Um, not to mention all the food storage that we got for Christmas. My parents gave us food storage for Christmas last year. Um, let's see. For Christmas. I think the thing that will be more likely to directly affect us is the economy crashing from the widespread panic. There you go. Is he being inappropriate? You only get th three strikes. I'm serious. Every time you come on here, we're going to block you. Stop. Yeah, my brother-in-law is the best. He's so smart. So incredible. And he's, he served a mission. I don't know. Uh, Josh. It's Josh, Julie's husband. Is that what you're asking, Paul? One more chance. One more chance. Someone told you to be good or something. I didn't see what it was. Hold on. Oh, who needs banning? Shani for Christ is her name? That's a real thing. Are you tricking me? Oh, it's totally a real thing. Hmm, interesting. I thought I was the only Shani on the internet. What's her story? What does she do? What's her channel about? Mm, I need to eat something. Get me yogurt down here. Anyway, um, they stopped filming for a lot of TV shows. Yeah, Danny is still in production, which kind of a, it's kind of a, it's like we need the money, so we're glad that there's not stopping production, but also I'm paranoid and so I don't want him to get sick, you know what I mean? I know, I know, it's crazy. 
we're writing history as we speak. It's, it's that big. Yeah, someday we're going to look back on this and be able to tell our posterity, like, we survived the coronavirus, <laughs> if it gets that bad. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let him talk. It's okay. Maybe he said something and I missed it. Um, we're all concerned we will get through this for sure. You're making things go bad. I'm making things go bad. Oh, are you talking to... Okay. You're worried. I, I think it's good to be worried. I'm not trying to like cause more of a panic. But I think it's good to be worried, just not like it's the end of the world, panic, we're going to die if we don't find 10,000 rolls of toilet paper. You know what I mean? It's like it's definitely something to worry about, but look at it just as any other flu, like wash your hands. Kind of like that's how we are in the winter, right? It's flu season. There's different flu seasons and during the flu season, you extra, you extra pay attention and, and sanitize your hands and stay clean and do all those things. I feel like that's kind of how we should be treating it. Because um, people die from the flu just as much, if not more. Actually, someone was telling me more people have died so far this year with the flu than they have with coronavirus. But that could have changed since the last time I heard that. I think that's changed since the last time I heard that, so. Wait, what? I've heard the immune system boosts are false advertisement and they should be ashamed of themselves. What does that mean? What do you mean by that? All domestic travel in America will be canceled Monday. I've heard that. Um, every school, every school in our area is canceled. Our church is canceled. Um, everything, everything's canceled. Anything that has over a hundred people in one room has been canceled. So, um, like even Colleen had to cancel her tour, her tour. And that's how you know it's bad. She's a workaholic and crazy workaholic. So for her to cancel, that says something too. I don't know. I could be nothing. You're more than nothing. You're everything. You could be great, and I'm sure you are great. Where are you? I'm in Ohio trying to stay kind of connected. I am in Utah. Um... My church still has masks, but you have a compromised immune system, your excuse. That's good. And the other thing is like, even if you don't get it, you could be carrying it. Like, just like with any other bug, you, you might just not know that you're carrying it yet. And so if you go out in public and sit next to people that might have a bad immune system, even if you're not having any symptoms, you might be carrying it and then they could get sick from it. And same with like elderly people, you know what I mean? So. We have to think about that too. Yes, Sarah. Do you want me to check right now? Um, I, I'll check. I will. I'll check later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, welcome could be nothing. We love you. Welcome. We've got some friends in our family here that are from Ohio, so... Okay. What brought you here today? Probably the title of this. If you're new here, that just hit me. 
you might be getting some new people. Um, welcome. I talk about mental health, eating disorders especially. And I took you through my journey of losing my teeth. And I try to warn people so that they don't go down the eating disorder road like I did because I lost everything from it. And I also sing and I also do funny, stupid videos and all the things. So if any of that interests you and you're new here, stick around. And we have the best community in the world. The best community in the world. Like, there's no community on YouTube like ours. We have the best internet community. You can always find someone that's, because we talk about everything here. We talk about all the hard stuff, so. Um, you typed YouTube, okay. Oh, wow. I typed in into YouTube coronavirus and then filtered live. Wow, hmm, that's cool. Well, I'm glad you found us, welcome. What is show body? What does that mean? I don't know that word. And why do you keep saying it over and over? What the heck? You're gonna get kicked out for spamming. You are spamming. What does show body even mean? Do you want me, to, are you saying show my body? What does show body mean? Is that the name of something? I don't even know what it means. Okay, Miriam. 14% will feel bad like flu, but just stay home and treat symptoms. And the other 6% will need to be, will, will need hospitalization, but almost all were, will recover from it. Don't be scared. That's awesome. Thanks for telling us that. Um, that my body is show worthy. I have the best body in the world. All of my hands. Danny loves it. I guess that's all that matters. Um, how long have you been doing YouTube? I've been subscribed for a little bit, but just started watching the last several lives because I like chatting. Aw, this is a fun group. Well, welcome. We love you, April. Yeah, you have been chatting a lot. Um, I started June 9th will be my sixth year, I believe. When did I start? I think it was, I think it'll be my sixth year this June. Yeah, go back and watch all my earlier videos. They're way better. <laughs> like, I just put so much into my videos and I need to be doing that again. But yeah, there's a lot of good, informative, helpful videos and and my entire document, it, my entire process of losing my teeth was documented on my channel. So you see me before and after surgery, you see me taking out my dentures for the first time, you see me losing teeth. Before I get my dentures, you see me, um, everything, you see everything. So if you want to follow that journey, you should go watch. I should like make a separate video of just clips from the part about the dentures so people could just watch like my denture journey or something. I don't know. Because it was awful. It was the worst thing I've ever been through. It was, <sighs> you did? Okay, you watch those. Man, it was excruciating. Like I, I am so sick. I have so many health problems. I have so many mental problems. Everything losing my teeth was the absolute most painful thing I've ever been through in my entire life, and I've been through pain, like a lot of pain. And um, holy crap, like I can't even explain it. So it's like I just want to try even harder to like warn as many more people out there. Like you do not want to go through this. You do not want to get where I got. It's terrible. Yeah, it's so bad. Because you gotta think about like, okay. So these are posts, okay? Got them there. And there's more in the back, but you can't see them. Those posts go about that far. <laughs> so literally, if you can imagine the pain and then the bottom also that did the same thing, um, like it it clouded everything else because it was on your face, it was in your head. It was like the pain was so unbearable that you couldn't even breathe, you couldn't hold still. Like I, I've never experienced anything like it, it was terrifying. 
I don't even, bar I barely even remember, like they sent me home after the surgery and I was in so much pain and the pain pills they gave me weren't doing anything at all. And I was just screaming in pain and uh, my husband took me to the emergency room and I, and I barely even remember getting there. I remember kind of like the nurse walking me back and she was really sweet and telling me it was gonna be okay. And that's all I remember. Like that's how much pain I was in. I was walking fine, I was there, I was conscious, but I could not even think. I couldn't even remember anything or know what was going on around me until they put that IV in me and pumped me full of drugs. Like that's how bad it was. Oh, so bad, so. Yeah, I'm really trying to get to know Wonder Man, so. Dude, as long as you stay respectful of women and everyone, stick around and get to know us. Did I say drugs? Yes. They pumped my body full of drugs. I think, I think Wonder Man, I think you're a good person. I do. I wonder if, are you one of those people that just, you know, likes to make comments that are inappropriate for like attention because in this community you get attention for being awesome and just being yourself look at my lips look at look how good they look wow i don't know what's happening i shouldn't start peeling them that'll be bad thank you maybe like a scrub I could make one out of sugar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a sugar scrub and make a scrub after. Anyway, um, okay. Night, Jessica. Well, thank you. That's a very sweet one, man. I'm gonna scare the hell out of my room. Hmm? Yeah. You're still in the fear phase, just know we will get through this. Yeah, for sure. And it's like, I've been trying my best to not get afraid and not get paranoid, but I don't know why it's hitting me so hard today. Oh, a soft toothbrush, that's a good idea. Huh, I would never have thought of that. That's brilliant. What was he saying? Because I missed some of it, Hannah. Here, I'll lay it out for you, okay, Wonder Man? Are you listening? Listen up. I'm only going to say this once, but you need to be paying attention. Are you paying attention? They're not prudes. Here's the thing. We've had people come on here in the past that would start out saying things j just like what you're saying, Wonder Man. They would start out by making these little inappropriate comments and maybe it wasn't the worst thing in the world or whatever, but it would always turn into something more. And then they would like start saying things that were excruciatingly painful to me because they would stick around long enough to get to know me and get to know my pain. And they would come on the lives and make comments that really affected me because because they knew how to get to me and so that's why all my moderators are so um protective and and stuff so it's not that they're being approved it's that they're protecting me from that possibly happening again do you know what i mean um okay Okay, well, stick around then. And I wanna get to know you better. You have said some super disrespectful things and so that's why I'm on edge a little about it and that's why Vern is. And that's understandable. You can't, you can't deny that. Like you cannot deny that. Well, they're being overprotective because I am a very sensitive person. So not anymore, but I used to be. And so that's what they're used to defending me for. So I appreciate them. They are wonderful mediators and yeah. Disrespectful, maybe I should have said inappropriate. That's what I should say.
anyway. Um, It's okay. Don't tell you don't need to tell them to shut up. That's okay. Yeah. They're very protective. Okay, here. Let me just like lay it out for you, okay? Here's the deal. Um, we have a community on here full of people that are that have been that have gone through terrible things, whether it be eating disorders, health, mental health abuse. A lot of us here, 80% of us here have gone through abuse. And so we get triggered really easily, even if you might not see that what you're saying could be triggering or disrespectful or um, what was the other word I was going to say, whatever. Um, it, it's just kind of how it, how it is. And we are sensitive people and we have younger people in this community that watch this as well. And so any like inappropriate that's what i was going to say like inappropriate things and comments about me and like i don't the, i'm just trying to explain where they're coming from on the other hand i don't feel that you've ever hurt me or anything so i just like to get to know people that leave comments like that 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 are like really disrespectful and because i want to get to know them and is this really them or is this j just a, a front that they're putting on because they need attention and if so I, I would rather try and get to know them and try and see if I could make them feel welcome somewhere and then maybe they'll be better people and they'll go around spreading positivity do you know what I mean wait why did you hide him what did he say wait why are you deleting him don't delete him He said to get over it. What? What did he say? Anyway, I'm grateful for every single one of my, he said, stop being victims. Oh, he said we're playing the victims. Oh. Well, if he comes back, then I'll say something to him about that because that's not cool. Anyway, that's not cool at all. And by the way, I hope I'm not making anybody feel th that I'm like ungrateful. Like I, I love that you guys are protective of me because I am sensitive and you guys have, have known me way, way long enough to know that, um, I forgot what I was gonna say because someone just texted me and I got distracted. So thank you to the person that just texted me that's watching this. You can just comment in here. I, I mean, unless you're, I don't know. Um, okay, let's change the subject because no, for the record, I don't think any of us here play the victim. I think we are strong ass people who have been through some effed up shit in our life and we choose to gather together and try and help each other and relate to people and relate to people and share things that help us like we are good human beings in this community and I think that a lot of people are good but they get used to getting negative attention and so that's what they try and bring to the internet um and so I can tell, I can usually tell, like, are they actually being mean, being a troll, or are they just trying to get attention? And I feel like that's the situation here, that this person needs attention. And so I'd rather get to know him because I don't like turning people away because I was once where they were. I was once the kid that needed attention. And so I would do stupid things and say stupid things for attention because I wasn't getting it elsewhere. So I kind of have that. That's why I'm a little sensitive to that. Um, but yeah, gas pain is the worst. It can make you feel like you're having a heart attack. I completely agree, Sarah. It's the worst. I, I've ser seriously, I've had s such bad gas at times that I thought I was going to have a heart attack or that I was having one because it would just like shoot up into my chest and into my arm. 
And there was one time that I went to the hospital because I was like convinced and they're like, no, honey, you just have gas. I'm like, that's really cool. <laughs> that's not embarrassing at all. <laughs> what baddest pain did I go through? My teeth, for sure. Didn't we just talk about that? Maybe you weren't here for that. My teeth, for sure. Um, second place though. Hmm. I mean, I have a lot of other problems. I want, what would be number two of the most painful thing I've been through? Um, I think number two would be kidney stones. But as far as surgery goes, number two would be, honestly, the colonoscopy. Even though I've had other surgeries, like I've been cut open and stuff, the colonoscopy, simply because of the prep of it, it traumatizes me every time. Like it's the worst experience in the world. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, Karina. Well, I guess just. I get that I get that you're upset that like this is my live stream and and oh that sounds so mean I'm not trying to be mean I'm just saying that like he didn't do anything to hurt me and I'm sorry that he did things to hurt you that's not cool and I'd like to talk to him about that if he would come back um but yeah just don't 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 yeah I'm sorry whatever he's been saying to you or doing or whatever I'm sure it's completely undeserved and you're a wonderful person and a beautiful person and I'm proud of you and I'm thankful for you. So thank you for watching. It was on my video. What video? Are you talking about the other life from the other night? Yeah. If you're talking about that, I know what you're talking about, but I was trying to give him a second chance to kind of talk about it, but that's okay. I missed a lot of comments. I'll just put my trust in you guys, but I didn't see anything that was like block worthy, but I will trust you guys because that's why you're moderators, because I trust you. Um... <gasps> oh no. Oh no. I had a colonoscopy done by a med student <laughs> who didn't understand how anesth anesthetics work. I wasn't out. Wait, what does that mean? Wait, what does that mean? Wait, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Like, you, like you're gay and you weren't out? How would that affect it? Wait, I'm so confused. I'm really ignorant, so sorry, I'm probably offending so many people. I'm super ignorant. But yeah, I don't know what that means. Not unconscious. <gasps> Wait. Anesthetics. Oh, like anesthesia. Oh, I was like, what? Oh, you weren't out. Okay, I got it. Never mind. I thought you meant like you weren't out of the closet yet, like you're gay or something. And I was like, what? What would that have to do with anything? <laughs> like with that effect? Anyway. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Holy smokes. That is awful. I've had one time there was, I woke up during, um, it was an endoscopy where they put the thing down your throat to look at your stomach. And I woke up during it. And all I remember was it didn't necessarily hurt. It just panicked me because I woke up and I was like, why can't I breathe? Why can't I breathe very well? What's happening? And like freaking out and just seeing like, seven nurses in the room and you know, hearing the doctor being like, get more propofol, get more propofol. And I was like, what's going on? And then they knocked me out again. So it was really calm. <laughs> so I cannot imagine being awake during a colonoscopy. That sounds like hell. Yeah. Poor thing. I really need to eat something saying that and then I never go do anything about it. I'm gonna go grab a yogurt.
Well, ask me some questions. Or we can just continue the conversation about coronavirus. What would you guys like to talk about? You, you let me know while I get my yogurt. Why don't you give her one more chance? I'm a little concerned because tomorrow um, we're doing this like dinner thing with Danny's Danny's parents for a Christmas gift gave us um, is that they were going to take all the married couples out like all their married children or adult children um, out to this like really awesome restaurant or something and it's like an hour and a half away from here. So we're doing that tomorrow, and I'm sort of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Just because I'm scared of being in like a restaurant where there's like people crowded and surrounding you and stuff. I'm feeling paranoid about that. Maybe I shouldn't be, but like, like I was saying before, I do have a bad immune system, and so of course I'm gonna worry. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine, but I'm still a little bit worried, you know? I can't help that. so bad if we didn't if we didn't go because I know all of the other people are going to go in the family so we would look really paranoid or overreacting or something probably but it would be hard for me to explain because Danny's family is awesome but they've never had a health problem in their whole life I'm sure that's not true, but it kind of is. Like, they do not get sick in that family at all with, like, serious health problems. And so I remember when we went to Disneyland a few years ago, and I had to be in a wheelchair because I, I couldn't walk that far. Like, I couldn't walk around. I can walk, but not that much. And so Danny had to push me in a wheelchair. And, and um, it's, not, it's not that I feel they were judging me, but they were like, you can walk, you walked at the restaurant, you walked across the street, like, so it gets really embarrassing for me. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but yeah, they're wonderful people. I just, I just, I don't know. I always get worried about looking paranoid because I am paranoid about some things, but I'm also realistic about a lot of things. Oh, that's not strawberry. Strawberry banana. It's not that bad. I just prefer strawberry. Why is it sour? Why is it way more sour? Maybe it's expired. Hold on. Sure is. Yep, yeah, it's expired. Blech. Okay, I need to throw this out. Hold on. Growly, growly, growly. Hold on, I gotta find something else now. Okay. Does 
does anyone have a question, a request? Um, um, I can sing. I can. I cannot dance. I can. Um, I can. We can keep talking about the coronavirus. I can answer your questions. What do you guys want to do? Because, um, yeah. I'm sorry, Sarah. I can burp, yep, that's true. Sing opera. <laughs> uh, Tiffany, I've been practicing your song. And I keep forgetting to tell you something. I need something from you for it. I'm going to forget, so I'm just going to hurry and message her. Hold on. Yeah, so send me some questions or whatever. Yeah, so if it ever got to like, wait, that's not what I meant to do. Whoops. No. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. Um, what baby names do you guys have picked out for your future kids? Um, we, there are names that we love. Um, I've always really loved Caitlin and um, there's a lot of girl names that I love, but we kind of know what our girl name would be because I know it sounds crazy, but I dream about my little girl. I know I have a little girl. I don't know if she'll come and meet me in this life or the next life. Who knows? But I know I have her because I've dreamt about her so many times. And at first she told me her name was Caitlin. And then recently she told me that her name was Hannah. And then... Very recently, she told me, oh crap, what was the new one? Annie. She told me it was Annie. So, so probably one of those is what we would pick. But I like lots of girl names. I just can't think of any on the spot. I've always loved the name Michelle and Danielle or Daniela. No, Danielle. Um, boys, we love Max. We love Jack, but we're not going to do Jack. Um... We love Corey. We love, what else do we like? There's a whole lot. I just can't think of them on the spot. I probably have a whole list somewhere, so I don't know. Um, let's see. I like Annie too. I actually really like Annie a lot. And it rhymes with Danny and Shanny. So come on. How cute would that be? Tiff, are you here still? Tiffany, are you still here? Who are you talking to, Karina? Who are we helping? What's happening? Aww. Well, welcome from Costa Rica Photos. How do I say your name? I'm sure I'm butchering that. Hi, Shani. My name's Mary. Oh, that's your name. That's my middle name. Mary, all the way from Costa Rica. All havoc has broken loose here too, and I feel better watching you. Aw, you're sweet and funny and make my stress go away. Thank you. That's so sweet. That means a lot right now because <laughs> the world is a scary place, and to know that I'm someone's comfort, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. You guys are my comfort too. Ah, Casey, what is going on with that? Because I want you here all the time. 
Um, Kimberly. She doesn't feel safe and needs prayers. Oh, hold on. Where is she? Kimberly. I'm alone right now and up and trying to be safe. Trying to find the original issue. Can someone just tell me the original problem that she's going through? Oh, I love you too, Mary. Mary and Joseph. I love the name Mary. I love my middle name. I love my first name too. Not that, okay, you're here, Tiff. I'm just gonna tell you, Tiffany, don't worry about editing it. Just send me clips and I'll, that's all you need to do. I'll do the rest. Don't worry about editing at all. So confused. Oh, Tiffany, I love you. Shani, you're one of the sweetest people in the world, which is what drew me to you and made me want to be your friend. You're a very soft, fluffy sweater. Thanks, girl. Me too. Um, my best friends couldn't get baby wipes. I know. We actually tried for those for wiping today at the store because of all... Oh, where'd your comment go? My best friend couldn't get baby wipes today at the store because all the toilet paper gone and she was really angrily, angry because the flu is much worse from yearly reports. Sorry, this long. No, that's what we're discussing. Like, yeah, there's worry. You should always be worried when something is spreading like that, but I don't know. It's not like it's, but then I also feel disrespectful downplaying it when people have lost people, people have died. And so I feel like it's kind of because it's such a hot topic. I know people die from the flu and other things too, but like, I can't, I can't imagine, like for instance, if my mom, if my sister died from the coronavirus yesterday, okay, and people are out there saying it's not that big of a deal and people need to calm down, I would be so hurt. You know what I mean? So I, do, I also want to be trying to be sensitive to those people that have actually lost somebody to it. And that's a serious thing, and that needs to be acknowledged. Oh, the woes thing, Sarah? Yeah, I probably will. Which one? The one where I bring on the live or the one where I would read your story in a video? I think you're talking about the video one. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I know. Yeah. Well, the well, they don't have a difference between this coronavirus is that this disease does not have a vaccine. Exactly. The flu, HIV, and a lot of other diseases can be treated. This one, not so much. Exactly. And that's why it should be taken seriously. On my lives? Hmm. Maybe, Sarah. Because I don't go live on Instagram anymore, and I don't know how I would bring you on on here, but we could just like, oh, we could still talk about it. I remember now what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, we could do it. Maybe I'll plan one so everyone can be there and... I'll start it off with Sarah's um, and then whoever else wants to, what if we do that? I'll try and let you know ahead of time. I'll make like a little tiny video letting you know like this will be a woes live stream so come and join, you know? Okay. We should also bring back victory of the day. I agree. Let's do it right now. What is your victory of the day? For me? I went in public with a really bad immune system and I didn't die. And also, I went in public 
which is a big accomplishment for me in general. So that's my victory of the day. I also found enemas. That was a big victory. That's really important. Moving on. What's happening? Some sort of drama is happening. What's happening? I'm so confused. What's going on with... I don't know what's going on with Holly and Karina and... Who's the other person? Kimberly? What is going on? I don't know what's happening. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I always tell people... I'm not a therapist. I can't, like, treat you or have the knowledge that therapists do. But I am perfectly capable of encouraging you and sharing my experience. So if that can help you, great. And if not, yeah. I mean, number one, you, you need to go to the doctor, like a, like a psychologist. And I'm sorry you're struggling. I hate that so many people are struggling right now. So many of you are struggling. Who are you talking to, Karina? I don't, I don't know what's happening. Um, let me take a couple more questions, or I can sing. We could do comic karaoke, or... Where's Paul, by the way? He's usually here. Paul is so sweet. So he went to... The store at like 2 30 in the morning just to get toilet paper we got one big pack of toilet paper and i was marco poking him at the same time during the night because we talk a lot during the night and i was like oh i should have had you grab me one and he was like i'll just give you mine it's no big deal I'm like no you need toilet paper but he's considering investing in a bidet um which you would still need toilet paper to wash off the wa the wipe the water, but not as much. Like you don't have to keep wiping when you poop. You you know what I mean? So he's such a sweetie. Oh, he is here. I just thought that was really cute. And he was like, you can just have mine. I'm like, no. He's a cutie pie. What time is it? And we talk. It is 12.53 a.m. <laughs> oh my gosh I love you Steph <laughs> the straw that broke me today was going to Starbucks and, find, and finding out they were sold out of all of the breakfast sandwiches I wanted I cried in my car this shit is really getting to me <laughs> that's a mood right there that's how I felt like when we went to the store. Um, Cause I've been wanting to make, I make a really good lemon pepper chicken stir fry. It's so good with like frozen veggies. And there was not one frozen veggie anywhere. And I freaked out. I was like, cause we had already tried looking at other ingredients that went into it. Everything was gone. And I'm like, well maybe I'll at least make some lemon pepper vegetables or something. I don't know. And I felt like that. I was like, the world is ending that I can't even buy a large bag of California blend bird's eye vegetables. 
You know what they had in the frozen vegetable section? They had squash and spinach. Nobody eats frozen squash and spinach. I mean, I'm sure people do, but I don't, you know, I don't like, I don't like either though. So to be fair, anyway, so. And I'm out of water, by the way. And I, if you know me, that's the only thing I drink. And I'm gonna have to like put my first world problem attitude aside because I am very picky about the water that I drink. Drink. I only like Arrowhead. That's the only kind I'll drink. But we can find any. So we got some Nestle big jugs of it, two gallons of it. That's it though. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna go and find a, a water, like a Brita water filter or something, just in case. We'll see. Frozen eggplant was gone. Is that a thing? What does that even mean? I don't think I've ever even like seen an eggplant. Is that weird? I've never seen an eggplant that I know of. And I've definitely never eaten one. Do people eat those? How do you eat them? What are eggplants? Wait, what are eggplants? I mean, I know they're penises in the emojis, but like, what are they as food? I feel like it's maybe close to squash, is it? No, I know what it looks like. I just don't think I've ever seen one in person. My ulcers are getting better, as far as I can tell. Really, really good. Um, we're hope hoping by next week now, our insurance can kick in so I can go get another endoscopy to make, make, make sure they're healing. Sorry, I've been very stuttery lately, like really bad, and it's really embarrassing, and it makes me want to cry. Um, it's something like I don't get embarrassed talking about anything anymore except with that. I get, I get really embarrassed, and I don't know why. I guess I'm just not used to sharing it. Um, what's Tales from the Crypt? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Tales from the Crypt? Go get a job? I can't tell if you're like being mean or if you're what's happening at all deep fried eggplant right Sophia that's what I'm trying to figure out I have no idea what it is it's hard to explain it's a squash it's a squash sponge okay so it's kind of like squash but spongier what Uh, I just don't think I'd like it, whatever it is, because I don't like squash. I'm a little bit, um, this is an issue. I'm actually a little bit, what's the word? I am a little bit discriminatory against some vegetables, and I'm very ashamed of it, and I hate to even say this out, out loud, but like, when it's pumpkin season and I go to get a pumpkin, I won't even touch the pumpkins that have those little warts on the outside because that's what they look like as warts. And I'm actually convinced that if I touch one of those pumpkins with the bumps on it, that I'm gonna get warts. So I'm very discriminatory about things that I've never tried or and other vegetables that I've never tried. I've I feel like I'm, I feel like I just have already made up my mind and I don't like eggplant, but maybe I should try it. And what is eggplant Parmesan? Because the only reason I know that saying is from Dante's Peak, which is another favorite movie of ours. <coughs> my face looks weird. 
What's happening? Why does my face look weird today? Are you seeing things? <sighs> okay, moving on. Who didn't cause, what? Who didn't cause, like, what are you talking about? Asians caused the coronavirus? I don't think anyone caused it. Wait, what does that even mean? How do you cause a, a virus that becomes to the size of a freak out in a pandemic? How do you cause that? Like, where did I hear it started from? Someone got, I just read about this and now I forgot of where it started. But it was something about how literally somebody ate something bad and got really sick and then it turned into this or something. I don't know. Kate, you don't have to be rude to me, dude. Um... Yeah, that's, that was my impression, what Miriam just said. Coronavirus virus already existed. It just mutated. Asians didn't cause it. Maybe that's just where the mutation of it started. Doesn't mean that they caused it. I don't know. Are you serious, Kelly? Shiny people here are stealing the hand sanitizer from hospital wards and beds, even a cancer ward. That is ridiculous. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Come on, people. And like all the, we've talked about this already, but it's worth mentioning again, all the doctors and surgeons out there can't, have, sorry, my son, stuttering, have had to cancel surgeries be, simply because they don't have the masks because everyone's buying these masks that doctors wear for why am I doing that? That doesn't have to do with anything. Um, the doctors need to wear to do surgeries and everyone's buying them. And so the doctors are having to cancel some life-saving surgeries for people. Like the like this is out of control. Yeah, the masks don't even do anything for the coronavirus. Those masks help the doctor to do their surgery, but it's not gonna help us with it. It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. Yeah. No, Asians didn't cause it at all. No. Not at all. What does chemical warfare mean? I've seen it before and I don't know what it means. Rosy lab in China is where it started. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that the Chinese started it. Or that... I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Hold on. Hold on. You said it was caused by Asians. What was your original comment? Yeah, and they shouldn't be attacking Asians at all. We shouldn't be attacking anybody. I don't understand why, why, why are we even like wasting our breath being like, well, where did it start and who started it? Who cares? What's done is done and learn from it and or help yourself and go get supply do what you need to do but like why are we why why are we t trying to find blame for people especially when obviously nobody did this on purpose virology lab what is that where they like made make medicines what does that mean libertine no i'm just no i really want to know what this person's thought is it's okay. It's if it's bothering you, you can leave. 
but I'm okay. You don't need to delete this person. I'm trying to have a conversation. I'm just saying that, yeah, exactly. People like to find blame and everything. Like, what's that even going to do? E even if we say, yeah, uh, uh, it, it originated it and Chinese people started it, okay, hypothetically, even if that were true, okay, what's the point of, what's the point of saying anything? There's nothing you can do because this already happened. So I don't understand. Just be careful because it does kind of sound like you're implying that they did it on purpose. Like maybe they created this virus on purpose to test on something for some reason and it ended up turning into this or something. Um, so even if wherever it came from, I don't think anybody like, I don't know. Yeah. It escaped on accident. Well, then it was an accident then. So why are we making those people, why are we making all Chinese people feel bad if there was probably just scientists in their lab trying to work on something and it, and it accidentally leaked out. It was an accident. So why are we getting mad? And what can we do to change it? Nothing. So that's what I think where people are coming from. Why, why that's very upsetting, what you're saying. Oh yeah, what is biological war warfare? Because I asked before and then I didn't wait for the answer. Can someone explain it again? For me, because I'm really slow. <laughs> Karina is making you a fluffy sweater blanket. That's so cute. Aww. Neck is on fire. <laughs> What's wrong with my face? I look like I'm dying. What is wrong with my face? Is it getting racist? I mean, yeah. be kind guys we can talk about this in in a kinder matter you know biological warfare when a country uses a disease to hurt their enemies I don't think that's what's happening no way come on no no wow no I don't agree with that no nope. Yeah, me too, Shauna. Um, all I can say is that I'm glad places are being shut down and events canceled to stop this from spreading further. I'm optimistic. I agree. That makes me feel better um, that people are being responsible about this. And But like, if I were at the store and getting toilet paper and there were two packs left and I put them both in my cart and then right as I'm leaving, an another lady comes down the aisle and she's like oh my gosh it's gone where did it go da, da, da. without even thinking about it I would reach into my cart and give her one of the pack packs of toilet paper that's how we all need to be handling this is to help each other and not be selfish and just share with each other and not be so greedy and take everything like I don't know like, that's a that's the thing that pisses me off the most is like can we at least come together as a human race and try and help each other through this hard time and not be selfish about it. You can get toilet paper online for real. I'm gonna order toilet paper from Amazon. Ooh, I'm gonna look that up. Hold on a minute, hold on. Do you think, I wonder if they're sold out though. Let's check. Toilet paper. We have a holy smokes, the prices, supply and demand, man. 
Um, I'm actually not really seeing anything. Hold on. Currently unavailable, currently unavailable. Okay, Charmin. For $30, you can buy a pack of six. Um, oh, never mind. Currently unavailable. That's sold out too. Um, yeah, it's all sold out on Amazon. That's insanity. I can't believe that. Wow, it's all sold out. All paper towels and toilet paper are sold out on Amazon. Oh wait, I found paper towels. Hold on, hold on. Bounty quick size paper towels white, 12 family rolls for $30. I'm actually gonna order that. Oh, never mind. In stock on April 10th. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, it won't be in stock for another month, so that's pointless. Wait, wait, let's look at this one. I found one in stock, but again, it won't arrive till April. That's great. Well, that's fun. Oh, good heavens. This is crazy. Um, four ounce of hand sanitizer was going for a hundred dollars the other day. That's insane. This is so out of hand. Like, biggest overreaction I've ever lived through and seen. This is just stupid. A thousand where you live, Kelly? Oh, online. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. People are buying it online because it's sold out everywhere. All the stores, it's sold out, so. <laughs> Karina's selling soap, so plenty of that. I'm selling paintings, so if you think painting would help you get through this difficult time. Uh, I actually don't even think. No, because, yeah, never mind. Why is it sold out? Because of the coronavirus scare. Everyone's freaking out. Have you not heard of this, Sophia? <laughs> okay, I'm getting tired. I'm going to go to bed, but I'll take one more question. There you go. You can wear my painting on your face and it will protect you from the virus. You are welcome. I miss you too, Steph. Dang it. Where were you? That's okay. I'll save this for you. But, oh no, I need to start telling people ahead of time when I'm going live. Okay, Karina, I see you. Calm your tits. Um, it's not happening in Brazil yet. Well, that's good. That's really good for you. It's spreading f fast over here. Um, and people are bringing it here from different countries really fast. Right, Casey, I've always been a germaphobe, so I hate this thing. Um, Shani, what princess would you be if you could? Uh, um, Rapunzel, for sure. Love her. Hey, hold, keep holding on. Keep on holding.
That's how you do it. You're welcome. Because of the hair, and I also just like her. And I think I'm the most like her because I have long blonde hair. I love to paint. I am a pushover and I'm <laughs> starting to find my voice. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know, she just resonates with me. Had you asked me that before Tangled came out, I would have said, um, I, I, growing up, I was obsessed with Jasmine, Princess Jasmine. <laughs> Shani's already a princess, you're so cute. Hmm. I'm gonna end on this one, this is a good one. Um. Hold on, I just lost it now. Crap, where'd it go? Where did it go? What the heck? Yeah, there are a lot of people here. Huh? Okay, I just lost it. I completely lost the question. Am I blind? Maybe I was seeing things. Who asked if I was drunk? I mean, I probably act drunk a lot, but I'm not. I don't drink, so. I lost the, I lost the question. I don't even know where it is now. Did I manage to get the things I need? No, but we, we, well, I'm gonna cry. It's getting out of control. No, but we will be just fine because even if we were quarantined for two weeks, we have plenty of food around our house and you can find different ways. You can make a bidet, you can figure things out. As long as, as, long as our water still runs, we will be just fine. Everyone will. It just might be a little inconvenient and not fun if we run out of toilet paper and paper towels, but we'll survive. It's not the end of the world. So that's what it was, Sophia. Thank you for reposting it. Okay, Sophia said, did you ever experience pain in your uterus like a cramp when you get turned on? I have this problem after being abused. Yes, yes I do. Um, but I, I don't know if it's from my abuse or if it's from my endometriosis. It could be a combination of both. Like, like you guys, a lot of you know already that I have vaginismus, which is basically PTSD in my vagina. And so if anything comes near my vagina, it, it goes like this, like really tight. And if you try to put anything in there, it hurts like hell. Um, and that is from abuse. You develop that. It's literally like a PTSD type of thing. Um, and as far as sex goes and like, hold on, I need to find your question again. Do you ever experience pain in your uterus like a cramp when you get turned on? So I don't get turned on very often, <laughs> but if I'm like doing the deed and things are happening, then yes, it does, it happens to me, but I don't know if that's because of abuse. Um, it could be because I have endometriosis. Um, maybe it's a combination of both, I don't know, but yes, I do. I do get cramps when I'm turned on or if I'm, or right after it happens. Explosions of light that go into the, and go all throughout your body and shoot it like the little lightsabers from Star Wars and it just like shoots this stuff all over your body and then you're like whoa and then you're like oh no I have cramps okay it's time for bed I love you guys thanks for hanging out <laughs> stay safe Stay clean, keep washing your, be responsible. Don't go out of 
unless you have to, please. Um, I mean, you can, but like, I only say that because it's dangerous to go out right now, not because of the virus, but because of the people. So just be really, really careful. Always wash your hands, sanitize as much as you can, and stay safe, guys. And I'm sure I'll go live again tomorrow night because um, I'm enjoying going live and getting to know you guys. And we can discuss things that I would make a video. I still want to, I still have videos that I'm in the process of making, but until those are up, um, I've really enjoyed going live and getting to know lots more of you that I didn't before. So I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for something. And stay safe, and remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. I love you guys. Bye.